hey guys welcome to another video for the redmi k20 pro now it's been a couple of days since android 12 is out probably more than a couple of days and with the source code out we do see a lot of people you know releasing unofficial and official builds of android 12 now big disclaimer over here these are initial android 12 builds and they will be buggy these are you know the times wherein you get to try different stuff you can flash it maybe for a couple of hours but you cannot use it for a daily driver we have one such example over here today we are talking about aero os unofficial first android 12 release now we're going to flash it i'll show you around the rom i have experienced it during the day but don't expect any benchmarks or gaming reviews or 24 hour review or even an initial impressions video because this is very very raw this is just for you to enjoy Aero OS or Android 12 on K20 Pro how it looks and how it feels and this is a very very early build but before we get into the installation process if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going all right so what do we have here aero os rafael unofficial 12 change log for this particular version need miui 11 firmware that is android 11 not miui 11 you need miui android 11 firmware english variant for experience only there are known bugs like finger on display doesn't work double tap to wake doesn't work wake wfd doesn't work when multiple sim cards are used only sim one settings are displayed se linux status is permissive so as i stated this is a vanilla experimental build you may or may not flash it it's completely up to you now there are a few things that you need to take care of before you actually go ahead and flash this make sure you have backed up all the information on your phone's internal storage because everything is going to be wiped you need to have an unlocked bootloader and orange fox recovery installed and there are three files that you will need you will need the android 11 firmware you will need this vanilla rom zip and you will need a special version of gapps which is based on android 12 all the files are linked in the description so let's begin with the flashing process now before we actually go ahead and flash it is very very important that you make sure you don't have your mi account signed in you don't have any type of screen or security lock and make sure you removed all your google accounts and everything else and rebooted the device once now once you've taken care of everything and you have the files copied to your phone's internal memory or you have it in the download folder if you downloaded it directly to the phone you can go ahead and boot into TWRP. So just like that, we are in Orange Fox Recovery. Now what you need to do here is go to this bin icon and go to Dalvik Cache System Vendor Data. Don't wipe internal storage because that's where your files are. Now once everything is wiped, go here to the folder icon. We have three files to flash, right? So the first file that we will flash is the firmware. Then select Add to Queue scroll down and select the rom add to queue again and then select flame g apps now swipe to confirm flash now as i said these are three files they will take some time to flash so please be patient while that happens all right now as you can see everything has been flashed so you just need to go through this log over here just to ensure that there are no errors or no file failed to flash right now you can go ahead and wipe cache and the last step is go to this icon over here again go to format data type in yes select the tick mark remember i said everything on your phone's internal storage will be wiped that is what is essentially happening over here so we'll be getting a very very clean flash all right now click on reboot system now now remember these roms are very very light and it doesn't really take a very long time to boot for the first time as well i'm expecting this will boot in less than 30 seconds we should have the aero os logo coming up anytime soon there you have it you have the aero os boot logo so let's wait for the phone to boot up there you have it setup menu for android 12 so let's skip things over here now you might have some issues with these g apps these are very very initial android 12 g apps by the flames g apps team so although it worked for me but it was giving me a persistent notification that the setup is completed and it was not going away 
in my initial usage during the day so i'm not setting a lock screen and everything right now because the fingerprint scanner is not working and just like that you are on the home screen now the interesting part about this particular rom is just look over here you do have the camera application you do have contacts you do have the play store but you don't have any bloatware at all now i have always said that when you make a rom very very light it really really performs well so let's go to settings over here let's go to about and you can already see the android 12 theming over here the android 12 look so if you click here and you keep tapping on this this is your android 12 easter egg there you have it now the moment you enable the android 12 easter egg you get a extra widget over here android s easter egg this is basically as you can see there you have it all different colors now as i said this is an initial build so a lot of things are missing over here it is asking you to finish setup at all but if you have a look over here it is following the android 12 look of course this is android 12 so it will follow the look but the monet ui is not fully functional is what i experienced over here if you go to live wallpaper picker you don't really have a wallpaper so if you go to wallpaper and style and you click on change wallpaper you just have one wallpaper over here and i did try it earlier with another wallpaper so you know the accent color and stuff is not changing that much but apart from this you have the home settings in which you have a very very basic launcher and you can install all the google apps you want now aero os doesn't really have a ton of customization and for a first build i feel that you know they are doing a pretty decent job and very soon they should be able to fix all the remaining issues that are you know mentioned in there and the some issues which are not really mentioned you have the battery indicator like the battery life battery percentage is something you can go ahead and enable data wi-fi all these basic things are working just okay but you know as i said i highly suggest that this is not a daily driver this is a very very raw build of aero os i just wanted to share with you guys what's coming next from team aero for the rafael or the redmi k20 pro so this was the install and initial impressions of aero os 12 let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one, this is Kailash, signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.